bedtime avoidance, sometimes that really is curtain calls, what I call curtain calls. Um, and they're trying to just avoid bed. And those, some of those kids ultimately go to bed and fall asleep by themselves. Many of those kids also end up getting the parent to come lay with them and they go to sleep with their parent. And parents are um, rightly so trying very hard to get their kids to just go to sleep by themselves. But a lot of parents don't understand that if they've always gone to sleep with you present, they're just not gonna flip that switch in one night. A really effective strategy is called the bedtime pass. It's a opportunity to come out or call out one time. If they call out or come out, mom and dad collect the pass, there's no more opportunities to come out of the room. Um, and then the kid stays in bed till morning. Generally works like a charm. Um, kids will, younger kids won't understand until they turn over their pass. My youngest son was three when he experienced the pass and that first night when he called out and I collected that pass, he was ever so sad to give it up. And then he didn't do it again. He just didn't do it again. So, and they don't really tantrum if they can't come out again, like they understand that process. It gives them the opportunity and the control over what's happening in their world. Um, sometimes I'll work with kids who have the pass protocol in place and we might add an incentive for not using it if they use it consistently night after night after night. Most of the time that's not necessary.